welcome back to my youtube channel so to make a flounce especially when you are trying to cut it with a lining it is advisable that you fold the lining and the fabric together so if you are going to cut if a, um, a flounce that you are going to line that is the one that you are not going to overlock the tip or maybe depending on what you are trying to achieve so it's advisable you fold it together with your fabric and if you are folding a flounce depend, depending on how much the um, fabric needed the, um, the flounce you are achieving you fold into two or into four as much as fabric enough fabric you have then after you try to get the middle of your fabric both the horizontal and the vertical middle so as shown here in the video i am trying to get the middle of my fabric so the first place i was trying to get was the vertical um the, the length the middle of the length of the of the fabric folded fabric i folded my i folded my organza into four so giving me two two for lining and two for the main fabric because that's what i needed then also now i'm also trying to get the width of this um, folded clothes already and i'm trying to get the width as in the middle of the width rather so that's what i'm trying to achieve here as shown in the video so after doing that i try to rule a straight line a straight line for the length the middle of the length as shown and also now i'm trying to chalk out the middle in which i rule out also i rule out to get the middle so i've gotten the center as you can see that this the two straight line they meet at the point so that meeting point is the center and that's where it's going to be our starting point so due, um, due to the kind of flounce i was trying to achieve i made use of six inches using five inch as the actual length of what i want to achieve and half half inch half on the top to join it to the fabric and have to turn the line that's six inches so depending on what you are trying to achieve you 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 make your calculations there are some flounce that is for um, sleeve in which they make use of they add them um, crinoline all those kind of flounce that it is majorly mostly three inches so for the turning and everything i majorly i mostly use 4.5 inches because there's a way you have to turn the crinoline so that it won't show so all those calculations to matters you are whatever you are trying to achieve you consider your um sewing allowance and all and if you are going to overlock it with an overlocking machine you consider all those when you are calculating your flounce so as you can see i chalk six inches into um three of the circles but on one part i did not chalk six inches so from this first circle here I used my table to pick six inches and I continued my flounce. So that alone is already giving you this, um, giving us this spiral, like it's giving us this spiral effect. So you are going to omit one of the four boxes. When you chalk six inches on three boxes, then on the fourth boxes, you are on the fourth box rather, you, you continue, you, you omit that and you continue from the first one. To give you this spiral effect, so whatever the inch you are making use, whether six inch, four inches, anything you are making use of, your um your flounce might not be as much as this, and it can even be more than this. Whatever you are trying to achieve, you consider those inch, but you just make sure you know the basis. I hope you understand my explanation. So you keep doing that on and on, like you can see the way I'm doing, like so in the video, the way I'm. I'm chalking and I was not just um, giving gap. I was making sure that I was um, using my tape rule to mark out the six inches. It might take time and it might look stressful, but it's worth the effort. So it's just best for you to get that lovely spiral effect and um, um, accurate um, inches of what you are trying to achieve. It's just advisable you take your time to mark out the inches you are using. So after I will cut, the cutting can be a bit um, confusing rather please i'm so sorry my voice um my voice is i don't know is a bit down so i'm stressing it so just please take your time follow the chalk the chalk line and cut through when you take your time with this you'll get a good result so as shown below uh, as shown in the video i was cutting and i kept taking my time to cut I was turning, you can see I was even taking my turning, turning and turning 
um, whichever way it is giving me the convenience, I was just turning until I got the desired result I wanted. So yeah, now because of what I wanted, at the end you, I just cut through um, the line because of what I I needed the flounce for. But if you feel your flounce, you can at the end you just shape it to your desired taste. You can even cut off all those um cross line, all those um line we use in mixing at the midpoint. So if you find this video interesting, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video, and turn on the notification bell.